back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive! Already back with it, yes! Uh, I think this is probably maybe two episodes, or at least in one day. Maybe it was the next day. Not too sure when I'm loading this, but in the previous episode, I mentioned about how I missed the frog boss. And I was quite disappointed with myself, because, you know, it's a frog boss. Whenever are we going to see this again? But... We have the April Fool's thing still going. So if we click on one of these, we get a really weirdly lit jokey emoji. Not too sure why it looks like that, but it does. Anyway, 5,000. Mm, I'll take it. Then everything else returns back to normal, which is brilliant. I'll quickly collect my uh, daily login bonus. <laughs> yes. um, but it was this thing. So I did one battle because it's it's got the... um like the epic incubator, right? And you think, oh, well, it's got to be an epic incubator, isn't it? Well, the final reward isn't. It's it's, it's whatever that is. Uh, I did one battle and I got the epic incubator. So it was a bit like, what? what is going on with this one? Uh, and we've got a battle against the froggy. Uh, the other one, um, it was also a frog. So I'm wondering if each one of these, the frog gets tougher and tougher. But you know what? We get to see the frog in its element. I'm looking forward to this. Um... It's a really tough opponent because it can heal its entire health. Look at it. Oh, it's gorgeous. He's so fat. Um, so we'll do this. We'll, we'll do a, a big hit right off the bat. And we get the crit. And he vanishes for a little bit. But it does have this passive, which is really cool, to, like, shake off some slime. And that affects you. I quite like that. It's a good little, um... Oh, my God. He's massive. <laughs> but we do get lots of health back. And... He, oh, he didn't decide to attack. Oh. Oh, he survived. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's because he lowered. Oh, okay. Limited evasive strike. All right. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to get loads of health back. Brilliant. And he's definitely dead. There you go. <laughs> Even the other incubators don't show. I love the graphic on that. Like, it's almost like an earthquake that exploded from the ground. And they're being very generous with this one. You can get three losses. Um, okay, 1,000 coin. That's good. Is the next one also going to be a frog boss? It is. Okay, I think it's getting a little bit tougher. Uh, we'll do it with Mortem Rex this time, just to show you how you can also do it with Mortem Rex, I think. Is it best? I mean, I think for these frogs, it's probably best you go with something that has, like, go through armor. Um, actually, wow, yes. Or just something that does a lot of damage. Basically, we'll do this hit. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love this thing. I didn't expect to do two videos, but, you know, when the content's there, we will, of course, cover it. When it's not there, well, it's kind of hard to, isn't it? Uh, we could have priority here. Get our attack up for our next hit. If they are going to do the same sorts of attacks, though, it does mean that they're probably going to go for an evasive, so it's, it's really going to depend... Oh my god, that... Oh, what, what is the crit chance of it? 50%, okay. So we need a crit. We also need to go through the evasive. We didn't go through the evasive, didn't get the crit. And he's more than likely dead. So we have 0% reduction for a lot. Oh, 10% on that, uh, that resistance for the... Uh, <laughs> wow! Just jump all over the screen. I mean, Tyrannometrodon is the one we gotta do. Have to. Is it? Oh. Afflicting strike, it didn't go. Oh yeah, we're gonna see this animation. <laughs> Don't know what it does, just paints on the screen for a little bit. And then oh, he's definitely dead. Now, because of us all here, because of all of its resistances, uh, I don't think Di um, what is it, referantum is really the best thing to go for here. So that was level 26. Next one's level 27. Uh, you need something that can regenerate. You need something that can... Ah. Oh. The armor would be good, I suppose. We'll try Ankylosalux, because I think we've kind of showed off Torello Metrodon a lot there. Let's see what an Ankylosalux can do out first, because you get that counter. That's going to be really good. You also get your shield, which is great, because I don't think he has anything that goes through shield. Also, I don't think he has anything that uh, stops armor. We're also, you know, we're not losing any attack here, which is great. I don't know if his attacks do go through that, but look at that. The free counter, 1,904. I want to use the frog more. I really do, but... 
it's very nice of them to give us a, a, a what was it, a scent, which gives you, you know, you, you guarantee getting a frog, uh, which is good. Uh, I guess we'll go for the vulnerability. Okay, there it is, a limited evasive strike. Now, I don't know if mine goes through dodge, my superior vulnerability. I don't think this does. Oh, maybe it, maybe that does. Oh, Anklos Lux coming in clutch here. Oh, yeah, it did as well. No, it does. Okay, so the top left icon doesn't show it going through uh, cloak. Okay. And yeah. We don't even need Anklos Lux. Oh, wow. Getting the MVP there. Wow. More Rex can't do it. Anklos Lux? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It will be a boss battle like with a big frog and then two little like... Imagine... Well, it'd be seven frogs, wouldn't it? If there was two normal ones. Okay, so 28 again. I feel as though Anklos Lux is how you do it. That's the secret. Didn't know it was going to be the secret, but it is. It's because the counter. I think the counter does go through. Um, oh, we've get, we're getting boosts on this guy now. He's got a little bit more speed. Uh, let me just check. Does the counter go through? Uh, remove dodge. Ah, perfect. Okay, okay. I don't know if that attack... Cunning Strike never normally goes through uh, armor. And we do have off the bat... Geminitis might be another good one as well, actually. Um, because you do have that counter. Um, maybe we try that in the next one. So this is level 28. And with boost. So I'm assuming that this is just going to be frog after frog after frog. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to go for... A, oh, well, actually, we don't have to go for it. But um, I'll go for it anyway. The regular hit. We could have went for Rampage and Run. Uh, there's no uh, attack that he does. Also, he's got his reduced armor by 66%. Resistance? So does that mean that if I had my own frogs out, that reducing... No, it's about the wolf, right? It's got to be about that hybrid. Um, we don't kill it automatically. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We'll go for one hit. And then let's see what happens here. We haven't seen it do its rally. It's been very generous. I think Ludia or Jam City have programmed it not to go for it until maybe the end. Because that feast rally, eh, just 12,000 health. <laughs> Which is ludicrous. A ball with the counter. Yeah. Okay. I think we're going up to level 30 with boosts. Maybe even then. All right, all right, all right. So, but the good thing is, if you beat it once, level 25, you get your epic incubator. You got this thing. Um, you don't need to go all the way to the end, but hell, I kind of want to go all the way to the end. We, we got to do it, right? We got to do it. We'll put Anklos Lux out again, because of course, why not? Oh no, Geminitis will be the next one we'll do. But yes, we'll definitely do Geminitis. Okay, that'll do. Right. I think we got this. Because what? Geminitis does have reduced attack. But then you also can cleanse yourself. So I think the first board of call is to go for the cleanse and get armor. In that case, for the second hit, I don't know if Geminitis does go through dodge, though. I know it goes through group, but, you know, that's, that's neither here nor, nor there with this one. Um, you could even line up a Valkyrie swap in. Or a Paratop swap in. Once you... Like, I could have went for my Rampage and run here. Done a massive amount of damage. Actually, I might have even been able to kill it. No, maybe not. Because it does do double. Um, he's also vulnerable. I forget about the damage on that. And yeah, you could just line up Paratops after this and definitely kill it. But we'll just go for Rampage and run! Uh, death, dead frog! <laughs> I love this idea. I, you know, I kind of want the frog to be that big. Because against normal dinosaurs, you see this little tiny frog. It's like, really? Really? We doing this? All right, whatever. <laughs> and there you go. Draco Ceratops won it. Halfway through. We're on 29. They've also got boosts. I want to see what the final one is. I really do. Um, so we'll do it again. What are we? We're oh level 30. And... Now it's got boosts on everything. Okay, so we'll take out Mortem Rex. Um, Indonemies might be pretty good as well, actually. I'll put in Indonemies. We'll put in the other one. I think it's level 29. I've got it. Uh, Geminitis. Yes. Okay, I feel like Geminitis with its massive tanky health. It's really good armor. 
Its counter's not as good as Anklos looks against it. But, you know, this is what we want to do. We want to showcase, right? Of course we do. Uh, right, and we go for the armor because he'll, he'll try and reduce our attack. We're resistant to it. We don't lose the critical, which is what Anklos Lux does lose. Okay, so there's still a chance of us getting a crit at 5%. We gain our armor. We get rid of the attack debuff. We gain even more armor, probably up to 100%, 90%. So we're going to do... Uh, we're going to take no damage here. Affliction. So that just reduces, you know, all of my, uh, all of those other things. Might as well do this. So now he's probably going to do nothing to us. Oh, 427. Now, do we go through dodge? Oh, does it? Oh my God. If it does go through dodge. Oh, it does. No, Gemini, this is actually really good to take this thing on. That's kind of impressive. Um, and now, because we're above, I, f I feel as though we could go for our big hit. Also, oh my god, it... Oh, just the, the, the glow, the, the breaking ground. It looks really good. This is fun. More stuff like this, Ludia. This is great. Using different dinosaurs. I think we can all agree we're kind of sick of the PvP at the moment, the way it is. But I want more fun events. I want to dart more. I feel like the, the, the fusing thing isn't the best it could be at the moment, just because of... It's way too expensive. Um, I've had to level up a couple more commons. And I'm probably doing it wrong. I, hey, there's the animation. It still hasn't done Rally yet, which is really nice of it. Maybe if you get it to the fourth attack or fifth attack even. I think this is the fourth one. Um, maybe next turn it would go for it. So if you do take a long time to whittle it down, then you're going to have to pay for it. I appreciate that. I appreciate, I see you and I appreciate you. Because <laughs> if it was a, an AI, right, it would probably go on oh, below half health, rally. And I don't even know what the cooldown is with that. It, it's probably very short. Um, should we do Indonemis now? Indonemis, if you go for that cloak, right, then he gets his own cloak. You don't have anything that goes through. So you want to go for Bigot first, then Cloak, then Rampage and Run? Oh, Dilorachius. Dilo Should we put extra health on it as well? You know what, Sonic, before we, before we get into it. Because I've got so many of, uh, what do we call it? So many um, rare catalysts. That's it. Stupid name. Anyway, uh, it should be up here. I mean, we could even give Tyranno... Oh, I've took all the health off it. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, we've still got... 13 health boosts. And I can just go down here. It only... Oh, I need extra... Ooh! Wait, what do I use you for? Oh, okay. We'll do 20. We only need 200. Which... Oh! Oh! That was a lot of 40s. Okay, so we got 10 pops. Which is a minimum of 100. No? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, God, that's terrible. Okay. But I feel like... We're good! We do 5 pops. We can get 200. May as well. Boom! There you go. Am I gonna get 10% extra attack? No! But, you know what? For this little thing that we can do, also, I'm just barely, barely hanging on to new Shores. I'm doing it. We're doing it, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think it is honestly Tyrannometrodon with the extra 10% attack, 10% um, health. I think the next one is speed, but eh, really, I'd want the extra boost because then I'd put more attack on it. Uh, but yeah, let, let's try. We got the tried and tested Geminidus. We got the tried and tested um, Anglos Lux as well as Tyrannometrodon. But what about Dido Kairos? A lot of people have it. In fact, once you break out of the Gyrosphere station, you can finally breathe a sigh of relief and go, oh, okay, finally, no more Dino Kairoses. Um, whereas this one could be quite interesting. I mean, I think if you went for a max attack, or sorry, max health build on Dino Kairos, you'd probably be around about this health. Um, but, you know, the extra 10% health is good. It's good. So we get our counter. We also get that. Um, we don't reduce its speed, but we also gain speed. It is... Oh, it's max speed. Oh, is that just on the frog? Like the boss frog? Or can the frog have that? Oh, God. Okay. Um, right. Right. I'm going to go for this. Yeah, limited evasive strike. This may be the only time we see it go for its rally. And the rally, the feast, does a bunch of damage as well. So here we cleanse ourselves. Is it all affliction as well? 
Oh no, apparently not. Yeah, okay, so even when you cleanse yourself, the affliction's still there. Interesting, okay. So we're gonna go for a hit here. He's gonna go for his affliction strike. And then I need to go for my heal because let's see. Oh, he didn't go for it. Okay, okay. Right, right, we need to go for a big heal now. Is this rally priority? His rally's priority, so I need to be faster. I'm not faster. Oh, ho, ho, okay. Okay, he could have killed me there. Could have killed me. Wow, 5,000 damage. Reduces attack. Um, now he nullifies everything. Um, oh, no, not the attack. <laughs> like the paint, paint with all the colors of the slime. Lovely, okay. We're about to do it, guys. No! <laughs> no! 50,000 health. You were kidding me. Okay. I feel like it's doable. You can't kill me in one hit. Uh, we've reduced his attack. We're doing massive damage. What's the cooldown on that? Okay, four. Four turns to cooldown. As long as he doesn't get a crit, I think. As long as he, he might... Oh, it's a crit. Oh, okay. Well, there you have it. Maybe lower level is doable. But level it's at... Mm, no. <laughs> Maybe more boosts are required. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we remove dodge with our counter, but we do go through it. Um, no, that's him. I wanted yeah, us. Receive. So go through, increase attack, all opponents... Uh, bypassing dodge. So yeah, it doesn't remove the dodge, but it bypasses it. So next turn, we should be good. Next turn, it'll be flawless. Affliction. I love this. This is so good. This is so much fun. All of the frogs. Right, okay. Yeah, I love the body slap. <laughs> it's brilliant. Oh, it's so, it so reminds me of Pokemon Stadium. With the way they did the animations and stuff. Beautiful. There we go. Dead frog. All dead. You need its legs. Woohoo! Right? <laughs> I don't know. I've never had frog legs. Maybe it is good. I don't know. Never tried it. Can't pass judgment. Let's go. <laughs> right, two more battles. Two more battles. Uh, is Tyranno Metrodon still really good? Is there anything good around here to dart? Yeah. I look at Tarbosaurus now and go. Probably dart it, shouldn't I? Yeah, probably should. Uh, we'll quickly just open up this incubator, because why not? Also, oh yeah, forgot. Um, the pass has flipped over. So now I'm all the way down to uh, rank 18, because I got both of the weeks, I got both of the months, and I don't think I... Yeah, I've got a few of these to go, so I may be able to push it to 19. But as soon as the pass goes over, you can get to 19 about as quickly as possible without paying. Um, whereas, I'm looking at the rewards, the only thing that kind of makes me want to get it. Because all you get is extra frog DNA. I mean, you get some other things as well, some of the unique DNA. Um, but I think there's the sad frog emote. There's that. But you get this one. And it makes frog noises. So, I don't know. And again, well, well done. Can we get a... Well done, Lydia, for putting in catalysts as a reward now. And not only as a reward, but absolutely minimum. 10. Are you freaking... Th even 30 for a pay to win is awful. I think even people who pay, pay for the premium pass will go... I'd rather have a skin. I mean, you do get a skin, right? Like, here it is. The desert skin. But... To Diplodocus. When do you, you when are you gonna see that? When are you gonna flex your Diplodocus skin? <laughs> I mean, maybe with some tournaments? Possibly. Anyway, we'll jump back in. I wanna see if Tyranno Metrodon can still do it. Because it is tough. Right. There it is. The T I was gonna say frog killer, but I looked for a T-Rex in my brain. Oh god, please! We have had a casualty, but that will not stop us. What speed? Oh, 145 speed. So not max speed anymore. Okay. Ooh, 3,000 damage though. I'm not quick here. Ooh, okay. Okay. What I'll do is I will go for my big hit now, knowing that, yeah, he was going to do that. And he's going to push me below the half health. He even gets a crit. Oh, come on. Get it, get it through. No. 
Oh, no, I didn't get through. That's not going to be too much help. But then again, maybe not so bad. Right, devour. Yep, there we go. Now we get priority. Unless he was going to go for rally. Uh, in which case, we'd be very, very much screwed. So we're going to get health, attack, speed, even more health from the devourer. Um, let's see what he does. Is he going to go for the nullifying? He might go for his, his nullifying one. No, that's actually... That's really good because we go first next turn and I think... Oh, we do lose our attack. Oh, man. Oh, but the devourer... The, the tiny bit of devourer! <laughs> okay, I think... Yeah. You need the Ankylos Lux, and you need something to swap in after it when you do the Rampage and Run. If you set up your team properly, you're pretty good. Um, I think that's going to be the, your best bet, even with a level 30 Trino Metrodon with two boosts or like two rank ups. Ankylos Lux feels like your best because it removes the dodge with its counter. Oh, of course. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that backflip. Gah! That's fine. You rally. That's cool. We'll just... Oh, that crit. 2,000 damage. Right. Here we go. Hostile glow. Hostile glow. Mm, yes. Okay, we whack it. That's good. Do the shimmy shams. That's not... That's not good. Uh, we'll do this to, you know, give some vulnerability. We can't heal. Now, what we can do is actually give ourselves invincibility. He does have an attack to remove everything. Um, but I, that probably would get rid of the invincibility. We do reduce his, his speed as well, and in some of the boss frogs, that has been a bit of a bugger, um, having them so quick. Now, we're probably resisting the nothing at this point. Uh, oh no, swap prevention, we still are. So we could go for the big hit, swap to dealer Kairos, but I'm not going to. We're still not below half health. Uh, once we get below that half health, then I'll go for my priority. This could be a tricky one. This is the second last boss frog, and he's he's already showed he's went for that rally quicker than normal. We are going to remove that. That's good. That's good. Uh, remove the dodge with that counter. Boom. There we go. And we do... We're faster, and we have priority. We might as well get our shield up for invincibility. Uh, he may still go for rally. but this close. Don't go for rally. Please don't go for rally. Just go for a normal hit. Go for a normal hit. Oh, that's right. There's a cooldown of four. Yes, we did it. Because I think that's invincibility, right? And he's not going to do anything. Yeah, there we go. Well done. I close look. You have not been used in so long, but I kept the boosts on it. Luckily, I think. I think I did. I'll have to check. So let's do the perfect build that you can do to take on the frogs. You would need a... Well, what's the final one? Another frog. Okay. I guess it's just more health. So you want the Ankylos Lux, but you also... You probably want to put the Ankylos Lux first. Um, and then you want something that can swap in. Uh, possibly go through dodge, because he might still have the dodge. Um, you pr depending on what kind of situation you're in. Let's have a look. Uh, Toronto Valkyrie. Ferocious Strike. I guess you do get the 50% attack bonus with that. But we're going to be looking at something like this. The Alberta Servia. What do you do? Targets all opponents. Okay, so you want Paratops, really. Um, because then when he swaps in, bypasses armor. It doesn't say it goes through dodge anymore. Hmm. Okay, so maybe you do want... Actually, I put max attack on this thing. Let's do that. In case it does die, um, we'll get Paratops in as well. Maybe a cheeky scorpion? Because he doesn't have anything that targets all opponents. I don't think Feast does. And this is your pro-level team. There you go. Because you'll swap out with the Ankylos Lux. Um, and I think there's only a cooldown of one on the priority. So as long as you survive another hit, you're good. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right off the bat. I don't know if we started with Ankylos Lux last time. But this is it. A 15,000 frog. Oh, loudy. So we go for... Hostile glow, make him vulnerable, do more damage. That's brilliant. Okay, so he's going to be quicker, right? I think we can kill him right here in two turns. We can go for... We'll counter him with a hit. We'll go for a rampage of run. We'll also swap out to Alberta Servia. I think this is it. We've killed this frog in two hits. I think. Big brain! I know. So there we go. Remove the dodge. Get the massive hit off. Because he's also vulnerable. 
boom. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think he's going to be... Oh, more vulnerability. Okay. So that's two vulnerabilities on him. That's fine. You could do that. We swap out. Alberta Servia comes in. This is going to do a bunch of damage. Here we go. Oh, he's so close. We almost killed it. So close. The amount of damage we did to that. Ah, damn. Damn, damn, damn. We don't have any priority. How much damage is this going to do? Is it like 3,000? I think with a crit, it might be 4,000. Oh, okay. Killed it within three hits. If I boosted my uh, Ankylos Lux a little bit more in attack, that would have been it. Two, two turn combo. One bow combo. Would have finished it. Not a single loss. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that was loads of fun. <laughs> Yeah, more stuff like that, please. Don't make it just an April Fool's. And 20... What were the chances of getting frogged in it? You know what? We need to cap this off with the scent. Now, they gave you... You could buy five of them, I think it was. Um, but I, I got one for free, and I did buy one. Um, oh, wait. What? Fool scent. That's it? Like, what are the chances of getting one afterwards? Ah. Is that less than 1%? I feel like that's less than 1% chance of getting another frog. But you know, I've never darted a frog. So let's go. Where's my frog? Where my frog at? Look at him. Squat. Beautiful. I don't know why it makes that noise. Okay, I've never darted this before. Let's see what we can do. Can we get a perfect? Oh, it's not hopping. Oh, there's the hop. Oh, but it, it's it's actually not a bad hop. Oh, no. When, when we, we still have a chance of getting perfect. Still have that chance? He's going straight forward now. This is it. Straight forward. Oh, he's a, he's a dream to dart. This is it. This is it. No! No, we were so close to getting perfect now! <laughs> I, oh, I didn't get it. I didn't clutch it at the end. I think a perfect's 360 or 380. Maybe 420. Ah, oh, but... Th I mean... I wish I bought more of those scents now. The fact that he's so easy to dart. I want it to be good. I want this frog to be good. But we all know for a fact that it's going to be whatever the frog turns into. The hybrid that you get from the frog is going to be crazy. It'll be have like a T-Rex head. It'll be squat. It'll be short or something. I can imagine it. A flying frog. That would be amazing. Give it wings. Fuse it with something else. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see the way that goes. Because I don't think the frog in itself is very useful with the, the moves that it has. If we can have a quick check, but ugh, there's no point really. It, it's not going to be used. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, hopefully it's been helpful. I will actually try and get this up. I don't know when these leave. Oh, God. Okay, maybe the video's up when it's gone. I apologize. But, hey, I'm sure there's ways of finding out what works. I don't know. Anyway, I've really had fun and making this video. And until next time. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. More stuff like this, Ludia. Please, thank you. Bye.